guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will see the smallest range covering elements from k list problem which is from lead code number 632 let's look at the problem statement in this problem you have k list of sorted integers in non decreasing order find the smallest range that includes at least one number from each of the k list we define the range a comma b is smaller than range c comma d if b minus a is less than d minus c and uh, in case if the range is equal then we should always go for the smaller number as the answer that means a is less than c before looking at some examples you can make out that there can be maximum 3500 number of list and each of the list length can be 50 so total number of items that you can have here is 3500 multiplied by 50 which will be greater than 10 to the power of 4 so an n square algorithm will not work in this case which will be greater than 10 to the power 8 definitely and we should solve it within one second so uh, we should avoid n square algorithm now let's look at some examples for better understanding in this case uh, we are given three number of list and each of the list are having let's say three items they can have different items as well so in the first list uh, you see that the items are in increasing order in all the list the items will always be in increasing order that means non-decreasing order our constraint is to make a group by choosing exactly one element from each of the list and our goal is to return the minimum range of the value across all the groups now if you start forming the groups then for the first list you can choose 4 and when you choose 4 from the next list you can pick 0 or 9 or 12 and let's say if you had picked 0 then from the third list you can pick 5 or 18 or 22 right so even for 4 you can form the list 405 4018 4022 or 495 4918 4922 and so on so if you find out the total number of groups that you can make according to the given constraint it will be n to the power of k because each of the item will have n choices and there are k number of list so you will get n to the power k number of combinations now if let's assume that one of the group which i have formed is 405 okay 405 now in this group the minimum value is 0 the maximum value is 5 so the range will be defined as max minus minimum which is 5 similarly if you have another group group 2 and let's say you have 10 9 5 then the min value is 5 max value is 10 the range will be 10 minus 5 which is 5 in group 3 you see uh, 15 12 18 the min value is 12 the max value is 18 so the range is 6 out of all these three groups which one is giving us the most optimal result we will just compare the ranges and we will pick the minimum range now group 1 and group 2 both are giving us the minimum range so the one with the lower value that means the lower min value okay this one is 0 and this one is 5 so with the lower min value will be taken as the answer so the answer in this case will be 0 comma 5 is our range okay so i think this problem should be clear now in order to solve this problem uh, we will use an idea based on the sorted array so all the k list are sorted let's say that you are given a sorted array and our question is to find the smallest range with three elements this means you should pick three elements where the max minus min value should be minimized then what element should we pick should we pick 2 4 5 as a group and try it out or should i pick 2 4 8 as a group and try it out so if you just compare between the two groups of 2 4 5 versus 2 4 and 8 then it will start making sense that 2 4 5 will always be more optimal than 2 4 8 if they are already ascending order sorted right and this happens because this third element will always be less than equals to the fourth element so it can never be optimal to include the fourth element leaving the third element where i have already included zero and one element right so i think this idea makes sense to everyone that is why it will always be sensible for us to pick the first three elements and take the range out of it so i will take a minimum l that means whatever is the minimum of the given range min l so that is equals to 2 i will take a max r that will be the maximum in the given sub array and that will be equals to 5 in this case so the range will be equals to 5 minus uh, 2 that will be equals to 3 okay now when i want to try another combination then which item will be most optimal to come close that would be 8 it will not be 12 or 14 because they are larger 8 will always be more optimal and which item should we lose 
so that the range can be minimized should we lose 5 or should we lose 4 or 2 if you think carefully it is always optimal to lose the smallest value so that you are including a higher value and losing the smallest value so the range will actually be sliding okay otherwise if you lose 4 or 5 then the range would be increasing it is not sliding right and our goal is to minimize the range that means find the smallest range now in this case as well you can update the min l value you see uh, if you find that the difference between the max and min that means 8 minus 4 is better than 3 which is not the case then i would have overwritten the min l and min r otherwise i would not do that again you include 12 and leave out this 4 and in this case you find out the difference between max and min if the difference is better than this 3 that means less than this 3 then update the l and r range so this idea is your sliding window approach okay and i think this is a very sensible idea so we will be using this idea on our given problem let's look at an example let's say we are given three number of lists so the k value is three but each of the list can be of different size so i have taken first and second list to be three three elements and the last list to have four elements we will be defining this by row and columns i will be defining the min l value and the min r value as the minimum start point and the maximum end point which will minimize our range value okay now if you want to again apply the previous technique here then i could have tried with all possible combination which would be n to the power k combination but instead of doing that i will be taking the first optimal window so the first optimal window will include 4 0 5 we should not take any other item as the start point we can always start from the leftmost side or the rightmost side so i usually do it from the leftmost side so we will do the same 405 you uh, you take these items so this will be 405 what we do with this is find out the max value and the min value so since we need the max value of this first window so i have already calculated it this has been pre-processed uh, while doing the iteration okay after having known the max value you have to know the min value okay so let's say we have found the min value out of these three elements we have found the min value so what is the difference between the max value and the min value it is equals to 5 minus 0 which will be 5 if this difference is better than our already known uh, range value so i will take a range value which will be infinity in the beginning and i will be uh, just checking it with this range and if it is better i will update it and i will op update the start and the end points i will write start point is 0 and the end point is 5 new start point and the new end point okay now which data structure would be better for us to get the minimum out of a bunch of elements I think you can go for min heap in this case okay so the min heap will always move the smallest item on top now having processed this entire thing which would come on the leftmost side that i have to remove and and just the next value should be included in a slide in a sliding window technique similarly we will apply here let's leave out the uh, smallest item that has already been calculated why we are doing that is if you keep the smallest item and still move to some other item then the range will increase okay it will it is not going to decrease it will either be same or it can increase it cannot decrease and that is uh, the concept which which i showed in in the idea part okay so the same thing implies here we have to always move to the next item of the smallest item not to any other item so if i want to move to this next item how would i know that i that nine is the next item i have to track this list number as well as the column number at which the zero was present just knowing zero is not good enough there could have been multiple zeros as well and a zero does not say about the address so i have to also keep the address of all the items so what is the address it is row comma column right so i will keep it as value comma row comma column as a single entity in the min heap and uh, it will all be sorted based on the value if the value is same then it will be sorted based on the row by this i know that for the 4 the entry will be 4 comma 0 comma 0 for this 0 the entry will be uh, 0 comma 1 comma 0 and for this 5 the entry would have been 5 comma 2 comma 0 which is value comma row comma column so if i am picking out this 0 i will remove it okay and then i will push the next item into the heap the next item which would be coming is 9 okay which is the value 1 comma 1 right so 1 comma 1 is the row comma column now once you have these three elements 4 9 and 5 
then again we will repeat the same process we will be finding out the max value whenever you put a new item maybe it might happen that your max value needs to be updated because 5 may be lower than the new value 9 and yes that is true in this case so i will be updating this 5 to 9 now when the next step has to happen uh, then i will be checking these values okay so i i already have a max value i will be picking the min value out of these three four nine and five so the four is the min value now find out the difference nine minus four is five okay so the already known minimum range is five so no update has to happen in this case because if two ranges are same then i will always pick the uh, smaller one as it was mentioned in the question so it has to always give me a better answer right so this part is done and now the minimum picked was 400 so i will remove it 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 has come from row number zero column number zero so the next item would be eight so i will be pushing here eight comma zero comma one while pushing this item eight i have to check if the max value is still larger yes it is still larger so no need to update it now again repeat the same process now you will be uh, just picking out the minimum value which is 5 so pick out this 5 and then find out the difference 9 minus uh, 5 which is 4 isn't it so since the 4 is better so let's update this range to 4 and what is the start point the start point is 5 so let's update this value to 5 and what is the end point the end point would be the max value itself so let's update this to 9 right so we are done with this step as well and we have removed this 5 5 was removed from row number 0 column number 1 so this is done now we will be pushing 18 so 18 comma 2 comma 1 will be pushed and again we will repeat the process in the next process whenever you push 18 then your max value will increase to a new max value 18 because 18 is larger so out of the uh, three items 8 9 18 you will be picking the smallest item which is 8 and again find out the difference okay but the difference is 10 which is actually larger than the range so no update will happen and the next item will be pushed so this is uh, row number 0 column number 1 hence go to row number 0 and column number 1 plus 1 that means 2 so push here 15 0 2 now 15 is smaller than 18 so no update has to happen okay again find out the difference between min and max 18 minus 9 9 is the min again the difference is 9 and this is 4 so no update will happen the next item of 9 is 12 so 12 will be pushed at row number 1 and column number 2 okay again uh, you you pick the min element and do the same process so the min element would be 12 so 12 will be picked the difference is 6 this is 4 so no update will happen when you don't have any next item to be pushed then that means this list is already done this list has been processed and once you have processed at least one list then you don't need to continue the process because the problem statement says that there should be one item from each of the list and if one list is completed then it will not follow our constraint and that is why this is not according to the problem statement so we will just end our entire process as soon as at least one list will end now for this entire sliding window min heap approach uh, we had taken a min heap of size k and uh, it was including one item from each of the list and we had k list and each of the operation from min heap is log of k and that is why uh, for n number of items if you push the items in a heap it will be n log k right so the time complexity for push and pop in a heap is log k and you are doing it for n items so, so this will be n log k the space complexity of heap is order of k so i hope you have understood this entire approach let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number this is the c code of the entire approach the java and python code will be shared in the description below you can just go to the link so we are given the nums array i will be taking a max value and uh, taking a min heap and pushing all the items into the min heap only the first item okay and uh, comparing the max value and keeping the max value of the first item of each of the list after that i will be taking the start point and the end point of the range and i will be processing this heap you see this is an infinite loop which is while one because i will be ending this loop as soon as i am done with the current list okay 
so from the min heap i will just take out the minimum item and uh, i will know that row and column and the current value of the item which is picked and after that i will be comparing the range if the range between the max value and the current value is better that means it is lower than the already known range then i will update the range otherwise if that is not the case i will i will just leave it then if uh, the minimum item which was popped off then if the next item is present then i will push the next item and if the next item is not present that means the list is done and so i need to break out because the problem constraint says that there should be one item from each of the list and then finally we will uh, return the minimum start and end uh, point of the given range so this is the entire approach and i hope you were able to understand it if you still have any doubt please comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you